Often, it is the lesser known substances that have a significant impact on our health. In this episode, we take a closer look at two such substances, oxlams and ninehode. These are derived from omega-6 fatty acids and are associated with inflammation. Today, we will clarify whether they actually pose a health risk. Welcome back to a new episode. After discussing seed oils and their potential impact on health in our last episode, the feedback was enormous. Some of you wanted to learn more about the so-called oxylipins and specifically about ninehode, substances that are often described in scientific literature as potentially pro-inflammatory. Today, we will clarify what these compounds really are, how they are formed, and what the latest research says about them. Oxlams are special chemical compounds that are formed when linoleic acid is oxidized. Linoleic acid is a type of fatty acid that belongs to the omega-6 fatty acids. These fatty acids are found in many plant oils, such as sunflower oil, soybean oil, and corn oil. They are very important for our diet because our body cannot produce them on its own, so we must obtain them through food. Oxlams are formed through a process called oxidation. Oxidation is a chemical reaction in which a substance reacts with oxygen and changes in the process. This oxidation can occur due to external influences such as heat and light, but it can also be triggered by internal processes in the body. These internal processes can occur in two ways. Enzymatic processes are reactions that are accelerated by special proteins called enzymes. Enzymes help chemical reactions in the body occur more quickly and efficiently. Non-enzymatic processes, on the other hand, are reactions that occur without enzymes and can also lead to the oxidation of linoleic acid. A particular example of such a metabolite is 9-HODE. In a study by Mock and others from 1990, it was found that 9-HODE has a significant pro-inflammatory effect in a wound healing model in rats and promotes the recruitment of immune cells. These results support the hypothesis that 9-HODE activates the NF-kappa-B signaling pathway, which plays a central role in the regulation of inflammation. The activated NF-kappa-B signaling pathway leads to the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines such as tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin-6, which are important for immune defense but can contribute to diseases such as atherosclerosis, diabetes, and arthritis when chronically activated. Other studies suggest that 9-HODE and oxlams may play a significant role in inflammatory processes. For example, it has been demonstrated that these compounds can activate TRPV1 receptors, which can lead to inflammatory responses. Furthermore, there is evidence that oxlams are associated with the activation of various inflammatory mediators, including those that interact with the NF-kappa-B signaling pathway. However, these and similar studies often rely on in vitro experiments or animal models, meaning that their transferability to the human body must be interpreted carefully. On the other hand, there are studies suggesting that not all oxidized linoleic acid metabolites are exclusively harmful. Hennebel and others reported in 2020 that certain metabolites, such as 13-HODE, play an important role in early neuronal development and can be detected in the brains of newborn animals. These findings suggest that oxidized linoleic acid metabolites can have different effects depending on the context and concentration. This underscores the complexity of these substances and shows that blanket statements are often inaccurate. The theory that oxidized linoleic acid metabolites, particularly 9-HODE, promote inflammatory processes is based on laboratory studies. In these investigations, it has been shown that 9-HODE increases the activity of NF-kappa-B, a key regulator of inflammation. This leads to the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, such as tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin-6. However, it is important to note that many of these studies are based on cell and animal models. Studies like those by Mock and others from 1990 support these findings and show a strong inflammatory response in wound healing models. But how much of this can be transferred to human nutrition? This question has not yet been fully answered and interpreting such results requires caution. To investigate the effects on humans, clinical research is essential. The results of this research paint a complex picture. While elevated levels of 9-HODE have been detected in certain diseases such as atherosclerosis and diabetes, 
Further evidence suggests that overall lifestyle and the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids play a crucial role. Randomized studies have shown that a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids can mitigate the potentially negative effects of an excess of omega-6 fatty acids. This research underscores the importance of a balanced diet in reducing pro-inflammatory processes. A common question concerns the effects of heating seed oils. Studies have shown that the content of oxidized linoleic acid metabolites, including 9-HODE, increases when these oils are heated, especially at temperatures above 200 degrees Celsius. Research such as that by Sadiq and others from 2019 suggests that repeated heating leads to a significant increase in oxidation products, which can pose potential health risks. Therefore, it is advisable to use seed oils gently and to avoid prolonged cooking times at high temperatures. In addition to the potentially negative effects, there is also evidence that certain oxidized linoleic acid metabolites may play an important role in early brain development. Studies like those by Hennebel and others from 2020 have shown that these oxidized fatty acids are present in the brains of newborns and perform crucial functions in the growth of axons. These positive effects are sex-specific and highlight that oxidized linoleic acid metabolites should not be viewed solely as harmful. Oxlams and Ninehode are fascinating yet complex aspects of the discussion about fatty acids and their impact on health. The evidence is not clear-cut and requires a nuanced consideration. A balanced intake of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, as well as careful use of seed oils, are crucial strategies to minimize potential risks. It is important not to approach the issue too fanatically and to avoid eliminating seed oils from our diet without reason. Instead, we should use them consciously and mindfully, as both omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids are essential for our bodies. At the same time, we should avoid highly processed products that have been overheated or contain harmful additives. There is no simple solution to this, but the best approach is to continue cooking for ourselves and to use high-quality ingredients whenever possible. If you enjoyed this episode and want to learn more about the chemical and health aspects of our daily diet, subscribe to our channel and activate notifications. Thank you for watching. As always, we wish you a long, healthy, and happy life. Until next time.